Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while, okay? A lot has happened since we last spoke and it's interesting how time could literally change the way things are. You know, we, we all make plans and we, we make plans, you know, in the future I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But then, you know, Life happens, you know, and then the plans just get shattered and you have to um, <laughs> start from scratch. Well, we hope it doesn't get that bad. Um, we hope very soon it's all going to be over. Mind you, I am making this video on today is 30th of March and that's like right in the middle of all of the coronavirus epidemic, global, you know, everything. Yeah. So. You feel me, okay? You get me. If you're watching this video like a year later or t 10 years later, just know that in 2020, the world decided to treat us funny. 2020 decided, yeah, that it wasn't gonna behave itself, yeah? And that it was gonna come with so many issues. Thank you for listening. So first of all, um, I will take you through my previous experience um, with with um, accommodation in my first year, and I would explain to you why I chose King Kids Court as my um, as my top choice for students accommodation, and also touch on my experiences living here in King Kids Court. I will make sure to have a room tour and to show you guys around as well. So keep that in mind and I hope you enjoy today's video. Do you prefer it with the light or without the light guys? Let me know in the comment section. I think the light is better, but that's my opinion. A few inches later. In my first year of university, I was coming to the UK for the first time. I'm an international student from Nigeria and it was going to be my first time like studying in the UK. So it was necessary for me to be in an environment where there were new students just like me who were, who could be international students like me and also like people from other places as well in the same place and I felt like Pollock Hall was the perfect um, was the perfect combination of what I needed. Um, it was a catered accommodation. Um, breakfast and dinner would be served for us so it would be a thing where in the morning you go to the dining hall and eat before you go to, to your lectures or whatever plans you have for the day. And then in the evening, you would come back um, for dinner. What I didn't really like about that was the fact that, you know, sometimes I had to miss dinner or breakfast because it wouldn't fit into my schedule. And, you know, you couldn't really be flexible with the time. Oh my goodness, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna focus on the positives, okay? I'm gonna tell you guys all the things that I loved about eating at Pollock Hall. I loved the fact that Pollock Hall, um, no, not Pollock Halls actually. <clears throat> I'm beginning to forget these things. It was JMCC, John McIntyre Conference Center. And that's where our Daniel Hall is or was located. It is located there, it still is, it hasn't stopped existing. So at JMCC we would go to have dinner and I vividly remember setting a challenge for myself to sit with a new person every single day. Um, Cause I was so like, I was bent on making new friends. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go all out, okay? Um, how many more friends can I make? I was like obsessed with making friends, um, um, fun times actually. I would sit with, with, with a new person every day, I would try to, you know, um, have some small talks, get to know them, what do you study, hi, my name is Aisha, you know, I'm, I'm also new here, I'm studying architecture, what do you study? 
you know and that was how i made a couple of friends um before i actually went to 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 before i actually started like going to uni because i i, I arrived there on 11th of september and uni started on 17th of september so i had like a week or so during freshers week to just you know meet new people you know have some fun guys another thing that i liked about pollock hall was the fact that they had cleaning services pollock hall has cleaning services guys um people with pollock halls are basically spoiled that's what i think okay it's my opinion you don't cook okay you don't you don't clean you just study and read when i was in my first year it wasn't any anything near to this oh my god i have grown actually guys you need to see my room in first year it was empty it was <laughs> it wasn't something to be bragging about okay but i can brag about this one okay because you know your girl grew another thing that i want to add is the fact that i had to spend a year okay at pollock halls and i was not used to the type of food that was being served because i was coming from a different place i mean i was excited at first to try out um british cu cuisine and they had quite a variety but they didn't have african food okay so the nigerian in me was yearning so badly for jollof rice or pounded yam or egusi soup or all these other things that i used to eat when i was at home so i could not wait to finally start cooking for myself and that brings us to my reason for choosing um king Kert's court as my accommodation option okay king Kert's court is a university hall as well it's quite similar to the concept of pollock hall um because it's made for first years and um it's it's basically made for first years but i managed to get in i managed to get to live at king Kert's court in my second year because i had a special circumstance which um demanded that i had to live in a university hall and of all the options that i had king Kert's court sounded like the perfect um, option for me i am an architecture student and the edinburgh school of architecture and landscape architecture is basically based on chamber street which is two three minutes walk from king Kerr's court you basically like go up the stairs and then you turn you turn left and then you walk for a short period of time and then you are in the front of minto house no you're actually in the front of adam house if you turned right you would be in the front of minto house which is right in front of the national museum of scotland one eternity later okay i hope you all are following let me know if you're lost <laughs> i could literally um be in mental house and look out of the window and sight my accommodation i i didn't really like that i had to walk for 15 20 minutes every day to get to my school when i was in my first year and so i badly needed to stay in a place that was very very close to everything that i needed so number one we've talked about the fact that it is a self-catered accommodation number two we've talked about the fact that it is really really close to everything okay like Tiviot Row House is like five minutes walk. Tesco is three, four minutes walk. Sainsbury's is three minutes walk. Lido is six minutes walk. The bus stops are literally so close by. It's right at the center of Edinburgh. So I, I, I basically wasn't gambling out here. I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, <laughs> didn't really have any. You know, I just wanted 
proximity i just wanted to be able to not have to factor in the time it would take me to get to school every single day of my life you know and i also wasn't ready to buy a bus pass because um i wasn't ready to spend some extra cash on that <laughs> a few moments later new angle guys is this better should i go back to the way i used to be nah this is this is this is good this is good The first day I moved into this accommodation, that wasn't actually my first time of seeing what the accommodation looked like. Um, when I was in my first year out of curiosity, I I visited Kincaid's Court and I managed to get in because um, I talked too much. I literally just walked up to this lady I saw and I was like, hi. I am a first year student, I am searching for accommodation to choose for my second year and I really need to see what the accommodation actually looks like and I don't know, I was lucky, she basically was like so nice and she, she knew some of my friends, I figured out that later. Um, so she let me into our flat she showed me the kitchen area she showed me the toilet she basically just showed me what my future accommodation would look like and after that day i was like this could potentially be my accommodation next year fast forward almost a year later i'm here making this video guys and I do not think I regret the decision I made because my life has been so much easier because I chose this accommodation. Let me give you a bit of a context of what I mean. So, when I got to my second year, this year, I don't know, in my second year of university, I had to take on a part-time job with the university i applied for one of the uh, st student experience student work experience schemes job kind of thingy and i luckily got one with the digital skills and training team as a digital skills trainer let me know in the comment section if you want me to create a video about what my experiences were like being a digital skills trainer while doing everything else um so the digital skills and training department of the university is based right at agile house which it's basically um maximum of 10 minutes walk if i woke up a bit late and i wanted to get to work early i would walk faster and I would be able to get to school, I, I would be able to get to work in, uh, let's say eight minutes, okay, if I walked really, really fast. Just to, sh to, to show you how close it was to Kincaid's Court. Edinburgh College of Art, which is where architecture students are based in their second year, is also very, very close to Agai House and is also close to Kincaid's Court by extension. So it would be a thing where I would walk to to ECA and then when it was time for me to to um, go to the library or something, I would go to the ECA library and then when it was time to go to work, I would just go to work. It was like, it was that easy. And aside from it being close to work and school it was also close to where everything happened tv Oat was where i would go so many times oh my goodness i have so many memories of tv Oat debating hall because i i am part of the committee or i was part of the committee because we did the AGM and everything, so I'm no longer a committee member. I was part of the com committee for Islamic Society, ISOC, and the Nigerian Society. And so that meant that I had to 
you know facilitate if facilitate events we had to like you know organize dinners events socials which are all based in the center of the university another reason why i chose skincare cards guys you see it all fits in perfectly perfectly it makes more sense now so that's my story guys Hey guys, change of background because, uh, you know, I like to spice things up a bit. <laughs> uh, okay, so, I don't know, let's do it like this. You can see my cute little flower over there. Okay, so next up, I want to talk about the cons. So I've already talked about the pros. I've already talked about the advantages of why I chose <coughs> Kincaid Core as my accommodation. Why I chose Kincaid Core as that place where I will make memories about my second year in university. Now, I want to talk about the cons, the things that I don't really like about living here because I don't really like the things here. I'm trying to sing for you all, but the song's not coming out as I hope it should. So I'll just stop because people told me a thousand and one times already that I don't sing as good. That I'm not even as good. Yeah, 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 yeah. A few inches later. Um, <coughs> right. I'm gonna behave myself. Disadvantages. I wouldn't really say it was a big deal, the disadvantages I'm talking about. However, it was a bit of an issue sometimes well personally for me like i didn't really worry but if you're considering coming to live in kincaid's court it's just something you should keep in mind um kincaid's court is based right at the center of cowgate so we have <clears throat> okay we have the three sisters, number one, which is quite close to King Kincaid's court in particular. We have a Stramash Live Music Bar. We have, I don't know. Hmm. We have this other place called Okay. I don't even want to miss anything. But basically, we have a lot. And that means that on Fridays and Saturdays, we get visitors, many visitors, mucho visitors, plenty of them, okay? And um, I live, my window is very, very close to where the visitors um, converge, you know, where they gather, where they meet, you know? so i have to put up with the noise but it's not that much of a big deal unless if there is a drunk person outside who decides you know what we're gonna scream and shout you know because you know they're drunk you know they're high okay they just want to shout to the top of their voice they just want to shout because yeah Okay, because they are drunk and you know, you don't really blame them like, you know, people just want to be happy and if shouting, you know, makes them happy, like, that's fine. Like, I'm cool with that. Okay, just please keep your voice down because this is a residential area as well. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say and that's all I have to say. Gracias. Yeah. And done. Now I'm back to business. Okay, 
is like my sleeping area um, I've got a bit of a fancy this is a home illustration thingy I got from Primark and you know I added it there because I really 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 needed to know I was at home and I've got some posters on the wall that says Allah dude it's a name of God and live locally think globally after hardship comes ease always end where faith begins just so I motivate myself every day and by the way I've got an interesting view I've got this painting which I made of green leaves because I've got a plant which matches perfectly with it and the accommodation like has its comes with these storage shelves which I use to store miscellaneous stuff you don't want to see because it's disorganized right now so for the first layer of the bookshelf I've got <laughs> I've basically just got like books and because I don't have that many books anyways like I've got loads of extra space left for other things which I'll explain to you over here I've got like a storage basket where I've just got like miscellaneous stuff I use for makeup and like dressing and all and I just put it on, on there because I don't use them that often and over here because I happen to have a collection of jeans trousers I decided to roll them and put it here because if I folded them like that it would not like it would take up more space and yeah it just didn't work out when I tried doing it the other way so I resorted to just rolling it and tucking it in there like that I am a Muslim and so I've got loads of different colors of hijabs and <laughs> this is my collection over here um, so I just rolled them quite similar to what I did to the jeans trousers and I tucked them in there as you all can see got a collection guys <laughs> Hi guys, I just wanted to add that this is what the bed, um, the view looks like from this side and you've got the door over there and right here is the study area. <laughs> it's a pop card. In my study area, I was creative with this because like they wouldn't allow us to, to, to put um, um, glues and stuff on the wall so I put it on the on this one because it's literally not gonna get spoiled so I just literally hang my keys and my earpiece and stuff in here um, and yeah this is my study area guys Okay, so this is our kitchen area and right here is the food waste slash recycling. We don't really recycle the food waste, it's just food waste over there and I'm just charging my phone here. But basically um, the way we, we sort of split the cupboards is we've got one, okay so I'm just going to say how we split it. I believe the the numbering is still on there. Um, room one gets this one and this. Room two, room five gets these two with this. No, no, this is for room three. Room three gets this. Um, this is just like general place for keeping pots and pans. Looks disorganized, so she even have seen that. This is for a different room and this is for a different room. Over here we basically just keep our um, miscellaneous stuff. It's, it's literally not supposed to be used as a cupboard because that's where the sink pipe and everything is. And these ones we just, I don't know, we put stuff in there at random. This is the oven obviously and 
and like that's like the washing area and it looks quite tidy because I put in an effort to make this video presentable okay Like I already said, my flatmates were really nice, so you know, it just really helped me to get like a much better experience. Finally, I was able to cook jollof rice and indomie. Actually, cook indomie because in Pollock Halls, I had to microwave indomie. Okay, that was how sad my life was. Um, yeah, because I got bored. I got bored of re of eating half cooked rice. People, okay, um, you know, I'm not here to criticize anyone. I'm just giving my comment, personal experiences, guys. It varies from student to student. Some would argue the food was perfect. I would say, I've got my comment. Okay. So back to business. Like I was saying, like I was saying. Like I was saying, guys, um, my flat. Yes, my flat. And we had two kit. We had <laughs> two kitchen because it was a five persons flat. There were five rooms, each one of them distinct in their own way, because the architect, you know, didn't want them to be the same. I don't know if this building was designed to be a university hall or not. But I've been to my flatmate's room, and it's slightly different. In how it's like structured and that could be in terms of the size in terms of the way um, things are located the door could be on the other side and then you know the table will be on this side and this would be on that side so like just depends on which room um, you end up staying at so I'm not promising this is exactly what your room is gonna look like just a disclaimer guys the accommodation service people, they do not provide you with tissue paper or, um, you know, cleaning stuff. The cleaner comes once every week and they only clean the public areas. They do not come to your individual room to tidy up for you. Okay, so this is our laundry room at Kincaid's Court. And we basically make use of circuit laundry. Um, there's like one, two, three, four, four um, washers and four dryers as well. And if you go through this door, there's like an exit and that leads to this place. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. Like I really don't know, no say. Anyways, oh, they've got these like thingy from China. Oh my god, it's actually closed. They closed the common room. I literally, I don't understand why they're gonna close the common room. It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, oh well. Anyways, I've left my laundry and just going back to my flat yeah so sneak is cool at night guys the next day hi guys so I'm just gonna head out now to shoot another video of the exterior bit the day is quite sunny outside and I'm really excited because then that means that I actually get to see Sun PS this is my first time going out outside of this accommodation after like about two weeks because i was under self-isolation and quarantining because of everything that's happening so i'm really really gassed guys so i am literally just walking out of kinkhead's court and we're heading towards stevie now actually i want them to see what it actually looks like right okay Let's go. I'm taking the stairs, by the way. Because I prefer and to take the I've stairs. I've noticed a lot of people don't like using the stairs, though. 
the reason why I actually came to live here is because of the stairs. Because no, I am serious. I am here. serious. This is the reason why I I moved to Kinkert Court. Partly because of these staircase. Because oh, I want to exercise every single morning. I want to be able to wake up. Uh -huh. Because I'm not having to like walk a long distance, mm -hmm. the stairs is my only chance to actually exercise. Oh really? Yeah, that, that's a good point. Yeah. And then jump on the stairs. Yeah. So, this is the stairs guys. And then once you go down the stairs, you can see you can get caught over there. Right here is the National Museum of Scotland. When you're feeling bored. When you're feeling bored, you can just walk out and then two minutes walk away. Over there is Edinburgh School of Architecture and Landscape Architecture. Right there. You see that blue signboard. And if you look down here, there's, there's like a car park. There are some other like random buildings for Edinburgh School, for University of Edinburgh. And over there is Southbridge. As you can see, it's not busy now because of the quarantine. And then right here, you can see the old school. Yes, the historical old school. I wouldn't really be able to go inside to show you, but exactly. we are walking towards TV, okay? Have to get, have to away, get away, from away, from away from the Babylon. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. my friend her name is Blossom she's also a master scholar and um, I literally like she, she she's such a vibe guys oh, thank you um, thank you I love make her. sure to check her, her her Instagram handle she's got amazing <laughs> content that's what youtubers do <laughs> <laughs> that's literally what youtubers do I'm just walking to to the shop like to the actual central of Edinburgh where the shops and everything is mm -hmm. and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like thank Keep you enjoying. literally like at this shop called Bismillah food store they have literally everything mostly everything you need for um, cooking African dishes and it's literally a lifesaver for someone like me
This is South Bridge. It's like, I think the busiest street. I think, okay, no, don't, do, the... don't quote me on that, okay? <laughs> this is just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Because it's like right on the center of Edinburgh and we're just walking back to Kincaid's Court. So coming from South Bridge, you can see, you can see Adam House over there. You can see, um, Edinburgh School of Architecture that I told you about right there and yeah I'm gonna actually take a different route this time around um, when I was going I, I I took the stairs but this time around I'm going to take the other the, way that I like the other way that is that is round yeah it's much more accessible mm -hmm. yeah so oh PS look at look at that look at that I, I actually want to take a picture have to have get to away, get away from, the from the Babylon. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. student accommodation it's called college I actually don't know what it's called but I think it's called college college wind college wind so you bought this or this but I think King Kate's Court always wins King Kate's Court always wins and we're just going in she's gonna enter the passcode so it's, it's kind of like secured we're back we're back at King Kate's Court I hope that was that gave you like a bit of a mental picture of what outside of Kincaid's Court looks like it's quite sunny today which is amazing yeah. I hope I've been able to help manage your expectations about what Kincaid's Court actually is like. I hope I've answered your questions. If you have any more questions, just drop them comments below. Send them comments coming. Huh? Send them comments coming. Yes, drop them comments because I would read and I'll make sure to answer every single question that you've got. If to tienes una pregunta, drop your comments. <laughs>